Hi there. Sometimes a little yoga is all you need. Sometimes a little yoga is all you have time for. Either way, let's do a little bit of yoga. So we're going to get right into it and start standing. And just take a moment with eyes closed to feel your feet into the floor. Tune into your breath. You can let your eyes open, hands and light fists, and a little padding on all the soft parts of your legs. Let's do the insides, the outsides, the fronts, the backs, just waking up your body with touch. You can do your bum, your hips, gently on your belly and lower back. Both arms. Gently on your chest, shoulders, fingertips to do your face and head. And then shake out, shake out your arms, shake out your legs, shake your butt, whole body. And then zip everything up. Let's come to the front of the mat, mountain pose. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, high push-up, holding here for a moment, connecting the head to the heels. Feel the belly lifting strongly. Lower down and come into your back bend, cobra or up dog, as low or high as feels right. Maybe a little movement here. Back to down dog, hips high. Take your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a couple times in both directions. Leg a little higher and then right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across. Reach it up and back, right towards the center of your chest. Send it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up, settle in. Grab the left wrist, take it across. Come over to the other side, grab your right wrist, take it across. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, lift the chest. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Let's do this with hips square and the upper body letting go. Let your head release, face relax. Big step back, warrior one, inhale, arms up. Settle in, shoulders dropping, hips dropping. One more breath, release, hands to the floor, make your way back to down dog. And you can take the time you need for all your transitions, take them in the way that feels right for you. From down dog, let's take the left leg up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. Leg a little higher, left knee towards, left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across. Up and back right towards the center of your chest. Up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Sink low. Grab your right wrist, take it across. Other side.
back to center, interlace fingers, lift the heart. Other thumb on top this time. Release arms. Tip forward, standing splits. Let your head hang, let the neck release. Keep stretching that back leg longer. Last breath, step back, warrior one. Release, make your way back to down dog, feeling what you're doing. From down dog, right leg sweeps up, step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Let's come into a twist. Left elbow across. Work the palms towards the center of the chest, opening through the top shoulder. Let's extend arms straight. Windmill up and around, warrior two. Flip the right palm, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Let's open the top arm, tuck it behind your back, half bound triangle. Maybe extend the bottom arm. Working core strength. Try not to hyperextend or lock the right knee. Let's bend the front knee, half bound extended side angle. Feel free to take a full bind if you like. Last breath. Release. Make your way back to down dog. Hmm. Left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Come into a twist. Right elbow across. If you did another variation on the other side, take the same one. Extend arms straight. Windmill up and around. Warrior two. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior two. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Open the top arm, tuck it behind your back, half bound triangle, possibly extending bottom arm straight. Bend the front knee, half bound extended side angle. If you tried for the full bind on the other side, you might do that again. Release. Make your way back to down dog. Hmm. Let's come into pigeon pose on the right side. Slide the right knee forward. Begin in an upright position, getting in a little back bend, opening up the chest. Take it a little deeper and then release, fold forward. Hmm. Keeping breath deep. Mm. 
Last breath here. Let's make our way back to down dog. You can take a vinyasa, you can take any movement. Getting ready for the other side, left knee forward. Start with an upright, open chest, back bend. Maybe a little deeper, last second, and then folding, letting go. Last breath here. Find your way back to down dog. Come all the way through to sitting. Seated forward fold. Sitting tall. Lengthen and fold whatever amount is possible for you. Could be just a slight tilt forward. You might be upright or you might reach for the feet or strap around the feet. In the direction of length, in the direction of folding. Inhale to look up. Exhale, release. Cross the right foot to the outside of the left knee, right hand to the floor behind you, left arm hugs or hooks. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, rotate. Release and switch. Left hand to the floor behind you, right arm hugs or hooks, lengthen and rotate. Let's release, roll back onto your back. Take a little circle or rock. Check in with your body. Do you want to shut this video off and keep practicing? You want to take a nice long shavasana? You want to take three breaths with me in a restorative rest, knees falling in towards one another, arms crossed. <sighs> And take a big stretch. Knees back in. Mm, namaste. Thank you. Thanks for doing a little yoga with me.